Okay, so today we're going to be talking about redundant pairs. And our first example is future plans. So a plan is something that we intend to do in the future. So the use of the word future before plan is redundant because we already know it's something that we are planning to do in the future. So there's no need for the word future. Our next one is close proximity. Now, um, if something is within our proximity, it means it's close to us. So again, do we really need to use the word close? No. Completely full is our next one. Uh, let me think about this. Full. If something is full, then it's already complete. So uh, again, why do we need completely in front of the word full? Next, we have free gift. Uh, okay, so a gift is something that is given to you or is uh, something that you haven't paid for. So it's, it's already free. And we understand that by the word gift. So why do we need the word free? We don't. It's redundant. Okay, our next word is true fact. Now, we all know that if something is a fact, it means that it's been proved to be um, correct and to be true. So why do we need to say true fact? We don't but we do. Um, next we have a terrible tragedy. Now a tragedy is never going to be something that's amazing. It's never going to be a wonderful tragedy. Uh, we know by tragedy that it's something terrible that's happened, so using the word terrible is redundant, but we do it. Unexpected surprise is our next word, and a surprise is always something that we weren't expecting, so Again, why do we need to say unexpected surprise? Because a surprise, by its very nature, is something that we were uh, not expecting. Our final word is difficult dilemma. Now, a dilemma is never something that's easy, so of course it's going to be difficult. Um, so using the word difficult before dilemma is uh, not really necessary because we know it's obviously a hard uh, situation. But we use it, difficult dilemma.